I was in one of my favourite bargain stores the other day and spotted this set of four washing up brushes for a pound. And it reminded me of a video I saw on YouTube quite a while ago. I shall have to search for it again so I can link to it. But a chap used these as the legs for a what I would call a crawler bot. One of those things that shuffles itself along. So I'm going to see if I can replicate it, as they say. First thing I need to do is see if I can bend these at all with a bit of heat. Because um, that's fairly key to the project I have in mind. We've uh, heated them up over the hob in the kitchen and they've bent remarkably well. Um, as you can see I've put a, a twist in them and the idea is these will be the front legs. Um, they'll be pivoted and then there'll be a peg coming up through the middle that moves forwards and backwards so th that should make them do that and the idea is with the brush facing that direction it will slide forwards but then dig in as it comes back so slide forwards then pull the bodywork forwards slide forwards pull the bodywork forwards I've had a good hunt through my scrap box and I've found this which as you can probably tell is very stiff to turn because it's a geared motor, it's actually a 21 volt AC motor. It's come out of an old microwave oven. That's the bit that turns the table on the bottom. It actually says 2.5 to 3 RPM, so very slow turning. I've also had a hunt. And I found this power unit, which is actually 9 volts AC. Right, got some old scrap plywood here that I've marked up for the body. So I should go and cut that out. Okay, been down in the garage, cut out my chassis. I've made it double thickness on the front there, just to give me the right thickness I'm going to mount the motor on top and the legs will be underneath with this spinning round so I've got a few holes to drill now <laughs> right just for testing purposes I've uh, connected up the power to my motor and as you can see, it's going to be pretty slow, this thing. But, there's an awful lot of torque there. So, even though my crawler bot's probably going to be the slowest thing I've ever seen, it should at least move. It's going to drag itself one way or the other. Right, just rigged it up to see how it goes. And as I've said, it's very slow. So I think we might be doing a speeded up video when it finally comes to actually demonstrating it working. Okay, let's see if we can get some movement. I'll put my ruler at the back so we know where we started. Switch it on. I think what I will do is I'll video this for about nine minutes and then speed up the video so you can actually see whether it moves or not.
OK, time for a summary, I think. Uh, that's gone about a metre in about nine minutes. Um, first part of the summary, the power unit I'm using, it's off an old answering machine. It's a 9 volt AC supply. I've extended the lead on it, as you can see. And our little bot here is made from a pack of four um, washing up brushes from my local bargain store. The reason we're going so slowly is the motor that I'm using is a 21 volt AC motor that used to be in a microwave to turn the turntable. I don't know if you can read on there but it says 2.5 to 3 RPM. In other words revolutions per minute. So this is incredibly slow. Underneath you can see that I've got the, the old table um, whatever it was called, the three-legged thing that used to hold the plate. I've put a bolt through that and that's what's turning the um, arms or legs. And then that screw there is adjustable and that's the thing that holds it off the ground as the arms go forwards. As they come back they dig in and move it forwards and then they drop the body down and they can move forwards without scraping. So that's how we're actually getting movement. wasn't quite the way I intended but it works and that video of it moving forwards I'll have to speed that up because that was about nine minutes to do a meter.